Hi, this is Mo from Mo eBike. This is uh, going to be my first YouTube video, and but I have some very, something very interesting to show you. I hope you might find it useful. It's um, using a smart BMS with Bluetooth connectivity to actually monitor what a stupid, dumb ass BMS is doing. Um, I'm going to show you how to connect it. I'll show you what I did to connect it in parallel. It might be someone, it might be something like um, cross somebody's mind. I definitely wanted to do that for a long time and um, it's very simple. You just have to sacrifice few balance and wires and an old BMS. So uh, it was useful so far and uh, I hope you find it useful as well. Um, let's make it short and sweet and hope you enjoy it. Okay, here is the connection. I managed to make a parallel connection of, of two balancing balancing wires back to back so I can actually connect this dumb BMS to this smart BMS through this, um, how do you call it, test board. And uh, the, the third part is like um, a female. Uh, connection or a male connection. And what, I mean, I got it from uh, another dumb BMS that was working. So I connect this two two balance wires to this uh, female connection. Uh, this is actually the BMS, the uh, the balancing harness or the balancing wires that coming from this uh, 48 volt batteries, and it's connecting in this junction. Of this connection and uh, one one of the of the connection goes to the to BMS and so, um, I can't stop calling them the, that and the other one is going to this balancing or like test board and the test board are uh, this this connectors are connected to those connectors and I'm connecting the balancing cables of the smart BMS here smart BMS with Bluetooth connection. Uh, uh, sorry about the mess. But I wasn't actually planning to make a video. So what we have here, the two uh, BMSs are actually controlling the, this, the, the charging process of, of this battery. Let's see what happens when we play with it. Like, this is a the charging cable are coming from the smart BMS. Let's see if when what happened when this when we disconnect it. See, see what happened. The first group of cells are getting really stressed, and that's connecting the smart BMS again. So actually, the smart BMS is controlling the charging process way better. The balance. Is not the balancing is not even engaged yet, but this is how the dumb BMS charging. You see, I just disconnect the uh, smart BMS. This is how the smart BMS charging. And of course, if we're gonna remove the dumb BMS, uh, it's not gonna be a big deal. It's gonna stay the same. Now the, the dumb BMS is not engage in the charging process. So uh, this is the way that I found and actually I'm using I'm gonna use this smart BMS as a way to monitor uh, or, 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 or to troubleshoot the the um, the battery that I'm trying to fix or make sure that the batteries I'm trying to build that the BMS is doing something. Um, or to monitor or even use it to balance a battery that I'm not sure that the, that the BMS is uh, the dumb BMS is actually doing its job which is there's no way actually to know that I wish I can use the smart BMS all the time but can't fit in all in most of the uh, uh, battery cases I have to make like a custom bag for it or which I uh, have this privilege actually because I make custom batteries for uh, for people and uh, 
when I have the chance I always use spark plugs. Um, anyway, I hope you find this useful. And bye bye. You may want to subscribe. I don't know. <laughs> they said it's good. That, that was my first video. I'm not good at editing yet, so it's a little rough. Uh, but I hope you find it useful. Maybe I'll get better with time. Um, we'll see. Bye bye.